हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ न्यूरल नेटवर्क फ्रॉम स्क्रैच सीरीज थैंक यू फॉर स्टिकिंग विद दिस सीरीज फॉर द फर्स्ट टू लेक्चर्स यू हैव ऑलरेडी मेड इट पास्ट वॉट मेनी स्टूडेंट्स डू इन अ लेक्चर सीरीज लाइक दिस सो थैंक्स फॉर बींग मोटिवेटेड लेट अस रिकैप ऑल वॉट वी हैव लर्न सो फार अप टिल नाउ वॉट वी हैव लर्न इज हाउ टू कोड अ न्यूरॉन how to code a layer of neurons and uh, the power of numpy we saw that for coding neurons for coding a layer of neurons and also for coding a batch of data entering these neurons and a layer we use the command np dot dot which is the dot product in numpy and uh, that dot product can be used to Uh, between two vectors between a vector and a matrix and between a matrix and a matrix we saw that when we just want the output of a neuron we just take a dot product between the inputs and the weights and we get the output from a single neuron however when we have a layer uh, we have a bunch of neurons in this case we have three neurons and then with respect to every neuron there will be an output uh so essentially we have to take a dot product between the input which is a vector and between the uh weights of the neurons which is a matrix and so the order of taking that dot product becomes very important in particular we saw that when we wanted the output from a layer we have to take the dot product np dot dot w comma x where w is the weight matrix and x is the inputs this can also be written as np dot dot x comma w transpose this is equivalent don't forget to add the bias term uh then we saw a realistic case where in real situations you don't just take one measurement you take measurement in batches so here we can see that this matrix represents three batches of data the first row is the first batch of data which has four inputs second row is the second batch which has four inputs third row is the third batch which has four inputs this entire batch is fed into a neural network with three neurons we are looking at one layer initially so the input will now be a 3 by 4 matrix and the weights will be a 3 by 4 matrix because every neuron will have four weights corresponding to four inputs so there will be three outputs from the first data three outputs from the second data and three outputs from the third data each output from one neuron so the output matrix has to be 3 by 3 we saw that in this case uh, the best way to find these outputs is take a dot product between x and w transpose and then add the bias term in that case it's very similar to this thing so always remember that whenever you want an output from a layer even if it's a batch of data or a single data take the dot product between the input x and the weight matrix if the weight matrix is represented like this where each row um, corresponds to the weight of a neuron or corresponds to the weights coming into one neuron okay so today what we are actually going to see is how do we code a bunch of layers in python up till now we have just looked at one single layer something like this which are three neurons but the real power of neural networks comes from stacking a bunch of layers horizontally together right uh you may have seen neural networks with 50 hidden layers or 100 hidden layers the question would be how do you find the output of the last layer and uh, now that we have started dealing in terms of matrices you will see how simple it is the only thing to keep in mind is the dot product between x and the weight transpose for every layer which you are looking at so in this lecture here's the architecture which we'll be following similar to the prior lectures we have four neurons which are the inputs so let me call this the input layer which are four inputs coming this is the first hidden layer which has three neurons and this is the second hidden layer right here which has three neurons and uh, what i want to do now is to find the output from the second hidden layer so let's see how to do that the input as always is coming in three batches the first batch has four inputs 1 2 3 and 2.5 this is the first measurement the second batch has four inputs 2 5 minus 1 and 2.0 so 
second measurement and the third batch has again four inputs minus 1.5 2.7 3.3 and minus 0.8 four measurements there will be uh, three outputs for every single batch coming in because there are three neurons in this output layer which is also my hidden layer too okay now let's start deconstructing this further in the first hidden layer there will be weights and biases similarly in the second hidden layer there will be a weight matrix and a bias matrix let us look at the sizes of these for every neuron here there will be a weight matrix so every neuron will have four weights so first weight second weight third weight and four weight and we have three neurons so that's why we have written three rows here and every neuron will have a bias term so b1 is the bias term of the first neuron similarly b3 is the bias term of the third neuron similarly if you look at the hidden layer 2 every neuron will have only three weights now associated with it whereas in the previous layer every neuron had four weights so the number of columns here will be three instead of four uh, but the number of rows will be 3 because there are still 3 neurons. So the second weight matrix is a 3 by 3 matrix and the second bias is 3, is 3 by 1 because every neuron here will have a bias term. So we want the output from the second layer, right? Before that, let us find the output of the first layer. You know the input, you know the weights and you know the bias. And we have already seen the formula for the output. We have to take the dot product between x which is the input this matrix and the transpose of the w1 matrix which i have written over here so if we add that to b1 that's the output of the first layer and i'm going to call that as f1 can you guess what the dimensions of this output would be so pause this video here for some time um, okay so to find the dimensions, it's very simple. Note that there are three neurons. So there will be three outputs for one batch of data. And let's look at how many batches are coming in. There are three batches. So there will be three outputs for each batch and there are three batches. So the output will be a three by three matrix. The first row of this will be the output from the first batch. Second row will be output from the second batch and third row will be output from the third batch. So the outputs from these will serve as the inputs to the next layer. Uh, and if you want to find the output of the next layer, we have to use the exact same formula. So remember, we have to take the dot product, which is input. And now the input to this is F1, which is the output of the earlier layer and the transpose of the weight matrix in this second layer, which is W2 transpose. And then we have to add a B2 here. Let us see if this dot product is actually permissible in terms of dimensions f1 will have a dimension 3 by 3 w2 transpose so w2 is 3 by 3 so w2 transpose will also have 3 by 3 remember in python if we take a dot product between two matrices it is equivalent to taking the product of these matrices so the number of columns of the first matrix is indeed equal to the number of rows so we are able to take the dot product and just add the final output or uh, add the bias so let us guess the dimensions of the final output you can already guess it mathematically it will be the number of rows of the first matrix and the number of columns so it will be a 3 by 3 output we can even guess it based on the number of neurons so three neurons so three outputs for each batch of data and three batches so three by three so that makes sense so this is exactly how you find the output for any number of layers so the output from the first layer as we saw output from the first layer is np dot dot x comma w1 transpose plus b1 the output from the second layer is np dot dot output from the first layer multiplied by w2 transpose plus b2 Similarly, if we had 50 hidden layers, the output from the 50th layer would be the dot product between the output of the 49th layer and W50 transpose plus B50. That's it. 
it's as simple as that to keep on adding more layers in a neural network and to find the output at every single layer this is also called as a forward pass by the way since we are moving forward along the layers in the neural network uh, as you would have expected coding this is quite simple in python so if you look at the previous code this was the code for uh, one layer so let's say if we had only one layer so these were the inputs this is the batch of data which we had seen here exactly same and uh, here are the weights and the biases since we had only one layer in the previous class there is only one set of weight matrix and the output is a dot product between inputs and weight transpose plus bias now when we have two layers as in this particular case we we'll, we are going to use the exact same formula first let's write down what is available to us this is the input matrix exactly same as what is written here x then we have the first weight matrix which i have written over here it's a 3 by 4 matrix uh, the first bias matrix which is a 3 by 1 then the second weight matrix which is a 3 by 3 matrix and the second bias so we just write these out it's important to convert these into arrays in numpy and then we just use the dot product two times first we find the layer one outputs by taking a dot product between inputs array and the transpose of the first weight matrix and add the bias this is exactly the same formula which i have written over here and then we take the output of the first layer and use it as an input into the second layer so then the second layer output would be a dot product between layer 1 outputs the transpose of the second weight matrix and then we add a second bias to it and then we print out the layer 2 outputs as we had predicted here the output from layer 2 is going to be a 3 by 3 matrix which is exactly what we obtain here uh as a homework what i recommend you to do is chain 4 to 5 layers and write down this formula to do one forward pass till the final layer it's very simple you just have to feed in the outputs of the first layer or the earlier layer as inputs to the next layer so that's it for today's lecture in which we learnt how to add more layers in a neural network and how to code them simply using np dot dot in python in the next lecture we will be looking at uh, generating non linear training data up till now we have been writing data in terms of these matrices right but it's not very convenient to feed in more data so we'll be looking at generating non linear data and then we will be looking at implementing our first layer class in python which is the dense layer class so thank you so much everyone and i look forward to seeing you in the next lecture